Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, as the regular season is officially complete. And now, we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next, after this. Thanks for tuning in for another NBA Playoffs. It's time now to free to take the moment to try to work up for the next game in a Western Conference playoff series. This time, it's the Suns and Pelicans playing at the Smoothie King Center. It's gonna be a very great game here if there's a chance for the Suns to try to make a forceful win if they want to keep things going. Sometimes what you need to know about them is they really have gotten a great rollout in between. And for three wins of the Jazz, they already have crushed them with a huge time of victory to help them out to gain re-controlment from anybody. I think they might be doing this thing over and over again if you'd like to see them play. And it's time now to check, catch you in for the Smoothie King Center for Game 3 of Suns and Pelicans to start it off. Let's take you down to New Orleans for the start of this matchup. Pelicans and for the Suns, ready to take their position here, and the man. And for less ten, less 10 hours here, but turned to be just for, for the game to bring things on. But that's a lot of encouragement to make the excitement come by. And thanks for tuning in for this Western Conference Playoff Edition. Now this one is about to be ready to take the answer with all the support. And the alley to enforce is on the sidelines. Checking out with just a great free assistant on Chris Paul. He is already showing his regaining of 14.7, 9.2 in the last 10 games, and only 1 and 1, trying to be just in between the range. Well, it's about to get started, but let's have Allie LaForce take it from here. Allie. Hey, Brian. We've heard a lot of critique of some of the fouls that are called. Ask Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. He said, quote, We've gotten out of control, gifting offensive players the ability to jump three or four feet into a guy and draw a foul. It's not a basketball play. Give the defensive player some benefit of the doubt. Guys? Thank you so much. You're, it's a good point. It's a great point here. With all that crew, it might be ready to be hard right on the game. I think there might be going to be a fantastic run here for Game 3. Key matchup is Chris Paul and CJ McCollum. Devin Booker against Brandon Ingram. Van McCollum Bridges against the air player that we call it is Jones. Valentunas against DeAndre Ayton. And over here is Hayes and Jay Crowder. The ball is up. And we start now. This time, we will be taking the skybox out of the broadcast. Starting off is Crowder. He has only got played your second games here before since he has not played with us this season. And wow, what a play here for Devin Booker on his ride. He has his first bucket in the range. Sometimes this average is putting up a higher on resistant. Give it all their back, God. CJ McCollum, in number three. Rebound it, and it puts it back into McCall Bridges. Coming up without the regular season of this one, uh, the loss, and that may be very hard enough to try to work our way around. But it may not be, but it may be less possible if we can get back into it. Ian up, slams it through, dunks it across, and it's a great drive here by Chris Paul with the assist. Chris Paul showing his, uh, he's out his work, work routine. He may be really, really going for another chance. McCollum for three. Gets it to go! It's the first three-pointer for the Pelicans. CJ McCollum has gotten the first one here at, at home. It was only 22 points, four rebounds, 47 percentage of the field goal. Chris Paul against CJ McCollum. Screen on Aiden with the drive. Rebound by Aiden. And he will take another bad luck angle by Valanciunas. Jones up against McCall Bridges. He switches off to Valanciunas. Back to Hayes. 
just six to shoot. Hayes in transition. Can he make it? No, he does not. Another miss here, bucket for Pelicans. Pelicans not really try to try to show his off, but this was very hard to try to make a move out of it. They can't be losing their streak on again. And what a three-pointer for Chris Paul. Reaching out for this season of four games against Pelicans. They've already got nothing in. Great number in between the status. Increase or to decrease. Dallin Junis against Aiton. Dallin Junis trying to, trying to stop the pressure from taking over. And it goes up. He's fouled. And it's Chris Paul with the first personal first team foul on Phoenix. 2.33 left is played here for the first period. And with all it takes to be him was CJ McCullough. CJ McCullough. Last time it was always, he has already played against, against the, the Celtics. They've already got, just gotten a great win here for the first game of the opening team to start things off here for the NBA 2K22. But now for the postseason, it's his first time, the time to take the run. That's a good free throw here for McCollum. And now the new changeup will be happening on Larry Nance Jr. checking in for Hayes. Larry Nance Jr. has already got, has made his way into his the debut to have um, to have the season to be in for his first time. Sometimes for him, he might be re ready for anything. Pelicans trail by two. Here's Chris Paul, only regaining his first three-pointer of the night. Booker against Ingram. He just off to Aiton. The Suns moving over bound a bit, and Paul missed the three. It's a changeup in position to go the other way. Jones out in the corner. He loses off to CJ McCollum for three. And it goes in and out. That is a hard three-pointer in the target range, but that was missed off wide. Paul up, and he makes another two-pointer release. Nine to five is your score. This can be a very tough call if Chris Paul were to make that two or three-pointer. That would be a great idea to try to work it up a bit. McCullough against Paul. Over in the paint, and two point scores for CJ McCollum. McCollum has got his third bucket this season, of the postseason, in the playoff position. Aiden, back to ball, driving in, denied by CJ McCollum. And the Suns will have the ball back here with a minute and 17 to go, with one more drive look of the block of mobile one. Always know that CJ McCollum has gotten lucky here. You just got gotten a great chance here if you want to make that play. New changes are coming in for the Suns as three players are checked out. Johnson, McGee, and Payne are checked in. And one player only has gone to take a, take a seat. Valentinus is checked out and Hernan Gomez is checked back in. Hooker for three. What a pass here for JaVale McGee. He has his first assist and first three-pointer for Devin Booker. What a great release for that throw. That's a great open, open offense, just like they did before. They have it all alone. No questions asked. It was just how hard they did. Ingram over Booker, and it's rebounded by Booker. 50 seconds to go here for the first period of the NBA playoffs third game. Bridges finds Johnson and he takes a dunk inside. Nicole Bridges takes a, takes a um, attackable run of it, scoring on his own. And now Ingram going back the other way. He is rushing through his line and he is all to round up to be another dunk of the game. Wow, what a three-pointer. And that was Devin Booker that was a wide open alone. He know he has one. Just like nothing compared for him. He was definitely good on his strength. And that was his pressure at the time. 
Here's Maine. Haven't scored yet here for the first period. He finds Bridges. Back to Booker. Eight seconds to shoot. Three-pointer again. And that's good. Another three-point consecutive runs for Devin Booker. It's 20-9. to nine. C.J. McCullough with a deep three. Oh, he made it! He just had it! What a show run for C.J. McCollum. You can never go wrong with the deep three man. And we have approached to finish the first quarter. The second quarter is underway when we come back. basketball, night in and night out, keep my head down, um, staying locked in and see internal vision, trying to play the right way through it all. Um, you know, I want to keep winning basketball games and you know we have the culture and the foundation around here to make it happen. For the deep of a three-pointer buzz beater for CJ McCollum, he will start off in the second quarter. And as for being being noticed here, that Devin Booker is trying to find his solution of winning and losing of this game from the playoff in the game. This playoffs has already got kind of turned out to be just like he did before. But with all that happened here, it was nothing else that he had done in mind to keep the range in, to take the target out of sight. But this is all that happened to him for Devin Booker, and he's definitely gotten a lot of losses here, and they weren't able to try to make the win and wanted to go for the higher player ranking. So what they wanted to do is they wanted to try to fix it up a bit and do it again. Right now, CJ McCullough is in the corner. Covers up by Johnson. Bryant for three. Good! He gets it in there! Three-pointer added for New Orleans, and it's CJ McCullough with the number assist. CJ McCullough has gotten great heavy duties here. Must keep an eye on him, just, just like he did here before last game. Johnson back to Craig, rolling over to Shamit and pulling back to Craig. Almost ball tipped loose, but Shamit with the recover. Around Graham, shot of a layup drive, no good. CJ McCollum in the other lane. He's going in there, just bigger time in square. McCullough right to Graham, and a great drive, and it's another re rejected off the flexion board. CJ McCollum adds another assist. What a nice drive here. Yeah, all it turned out for CJ McCollum is just keep passing the ball. Cameron Payne. In the paint, drive, unable to make the, unable to make the shot. Shots giving him a lot of trouble in releasements here. They cannot be stopped from their playoff drive to try to work their run attack. McCollum against Craig. He swoops it in. Back to Graham. One on the shot clock. Unable to make the free throw. Three pointer as this turns off to be in the other way for Phoenix. And stepped out of bounds. It's Pelican's ball. So much disappointment out there. It was too close with the call of Shamit, but now he needs to be uh, be listening closely to try to get back in the game. Three players are checked in, and also with another number substitution for the Pelicans. Now Valanciunas covered by Ian. He goes up. Shot can't hit the two. Paul passes up to Craig for three. It's good. It's Paul with the assist. Just how he did here before, like like he had a no mind, but without any other problem. I mean that Chris Paul will definitely keep the going to try to stop the run. Alvarado up. Rebound. Hayes gets it back. What a feedback here for the Pelicans to stop it up. Pelicans knew it. They have it all answered out here, just like he did. Paul finds Crowder, and he goes off target. That's Villan Chunas with the rebound. Alvarado with the ball. Their team trailing by two. Alvarado on Crowder. Finds Villan Chunas. He scores in. Tied up now by 23. 
And it's Alvarado with the assist. Alvarado, a lot of huge clues out there. It's not pointless, but this is all they have done. Just like you keep your eyes here for the players and they're open on offense. But don't want to get messed up scrambling to be blind on defense. Ball back to Aiden. Shevin in the corner. Inside the paint, Shevin. And he scores in. Driving across. It's just like he did before. Field goals in percentage range. It's all even up. Yeah, it's going to be very, very difficult. Sometimes if all the of play we have to keep in mind of is the is the field goal range. Not just him, but they all need to keep it going. Graham against Shamit. One to shoot, up he goes. Firing a three, misses wide. Craig with the ball. Now it's down to Shamit. Back to Paul. 20 seconds left to further the game clock, and shot clock is turned off. Murphy, any other transition? 10 seconds to remain. In the first half, five seconds. Valtunas gets denied by Aiden. And Aiden and the team will close the first half. It's 25 23. Wow, it's, it's intense. It's very intense. Not without any uh, patience at all. It really keeps on happening. And a chance now to catch you down to Ali the Force. Ali? Certainly some areas to correct moving forward. What have you seen so far? Breakdowns on defense. We've got to recognize personnel. Giving up a few open shots to guys to talk about. We'll be better as we go forward. we got to get out and run, but our defense will help us run more. It all starts on D. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Allie. We'll be right back after this. Stick around later as the second half will be coming up after the break. What a great play in here for the first half. Let's take a look at the one more recap for Suns and Pelicans. Statistics are on the board. That's all for now. Let's head back to Smoothie King Center. We appreciate you for joining us here for the first half, but the second half is about to be coverage here on the game. This playoff is turning out to be just like they did. And for Devin Booker, he's all on his hands to make the game come to a nearly, nearly a superstar player to be a legendary. And of course he is. So Devin Booker with a about his strength to keep in mind of how they did here in the in his gaming career, he only has like a bunch of bunch of plays that he has done here before. But most of the time, it was like real games that are happening here where best play in drives. Here's Murphy as we as the third quarter starts now already. Brandon Ingram in a in a wing. Valentin is up. And off. No questions, and he makes a back of another two-point bucket score. Tied up now by 25. Valanciunas, he just has that ball right in the hand quickly. But what he had in mind, he really definitely did try to stop the run. Booker, right to Aiden. He slams dunk. He goes right in a, right in a way as Devin Booker picks up the six. DeAndre Ayton really got not, no luck on his mind. He's like slamming it. McCollum against Paul. McCollum for three. I'm never missed by New Orleans. And it's Crowder with the ball. Rebound over to Paul. He gets it. Rebounded again. And it's on Ingram. This time it went off the rebound here for Phoenix Suns. Again, they still can't find a number two to tie the game up. McCullough Bridges against CJ McCullough. Right to Crowder, back to Paul, and they're moving the ball quick. Crowder for three. In and out, this goes, and they can't make the three-pointer shot come to a come to a closeout of the game. Yeah, those players are not really happy 
with all that behavior that they really didn't they didn't really play here on offense and defense with the skills. Now they need to uh, get back and retreat themselves to hit them in there. Valentina scores a drive moment out there. That's just a that's just a crazy run for them. Booker back to Crowder and they're all moving the ball again. Back to ball, three pointer, in and out. Alan Judas with the ball and it turns around to be on McCullum. Jones back to McCullum. Paul still uncovering the lead. Back to Jones. Jones with the two. Once again, they can't make the two points and it's off target again. They know they have that one. They're really stumped up. Chris Paul can't make the two pointer either. Jones, up again on Ingram. McCollum outside. Jones against Crowder. The Pelicans are switching the man's here on, on each position to try to fix their run a bit on offense. Here's Valentunas. Almost made it, but Hayes is hold on tight. Hayes really has gotten a great move out there. What a hustle. Timeout taken by Phoenix. And it's a minute and 52 to remain here in the game. This all turned out just like that, but it was like nothing to pursue themselves like they did here before. And if you're sticking around here for the Stanley Cup playoffs, we will be back here to start here things on, on a tight, tough rebounding of the, of the game in between the basketball and hockey. As after game three is over, we will send you back to the Stanley Cup playoffs Keep your eyes on for the players that have the most coverage adding static statistic here on the board. We'll see how they can do when they make it back here on the run. We will start things off here for the Easter Conference as we will have the first matchup of the of the Panthers and Capitals in game two at Florida. And then we will stick around here for the Western Conference of the Kings and the Oilers. New changes are being released here for the Suns and Pelicans. McKee, Payne, and all the uh, and all players check, are checking in, except for Devin Booker, and all players and Pelicans they did the same thing too. Payne with the board run, and he is fouled. That's a loose ball that picks up his first personal. And just like they did before, the block rejected up here again. And that was uh, just a tough run. That was on the uh, on the Andre eight, and that really turned out just way too quick. That was all they had, which is a short clip. But I, but they would have gotten all the clips here for DeAndre Ayton to set things up on the board. New changes being released here for the Pelicans, and right now Graham is checked back in. Now Temple will check him in on the court from this the outer range. On McGee. He backs it up again to try to start from the top. Nance Jr. with the screen. Temple. And a push off. Two. Water is no good. And it's Bridges with the rebound. Just a minute and ten to go here, and it's 29-27. And now this all turns to be McCall Bridges, the finishing drive, and they're back to even up. Evening up is just a very tough score. They, they are really slowing down, but they are just trying to fight back. Renan Gomeson, McGee, and he's fouled. Shot's good for Renan Gomez. And another personal foul releases here on the Suns. Hernan Gomez, look at this play. It all happened here. Went in around a rim, and he went in there. What a play for Hernan Gomez, and he is going to the line to shoot one. I haven't heard that talk. He goes for, at the line for one. Kind of like a crazy dude. Well, I'm, I have never heard of it before. Well, it's a... That's all it turns out. That's kind of weird. Too weird, it might be. Hernan Gomez hits the first, and they are putting it back on the run. 
Phoenix trailing by four. They're trailing by three. Now it goes right to Payne. Up again, drive around, and it went back, bank in. Cameron Payne receiving his first bucket, and they are down by one. Cameron Payne, all quiet here, but now he's ready to take this position to the next level. Ingram trying to slam on McGee. Oh my goodness! What a play drive! And Hernan Gomez says, no, 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 that may be my opportunity to have a turnaround piece of a, a shot angle. Hey, trying to work his way through. Number two, right to McGee, foul and one. Wow, that counts the bucket here so quick. And now one shot releases on JaVale McGee. Really, Hernan Gomez is fouled. And now the first team foul is going on Pelicans. That goes up with a one-hand signal here. And that's just a point up. Man, I don't know what to say. But that's all. You can raise them out to try to keep them right in every time. What's up? And the free throw is good for JaVale McGee. JaVale McGee really got gotten to pay attention here. Looks like you're going to close the gap and get ready to finish it off for the fourth quarter. And that will do the third quarter as this is, is about to be tight in between the Pelicans and Suns. But who will take the third game win, Pelicans or Suns? Be right back after this. And a time now to present the assist of the game by State Farm. All I know is one in motion here. It's in between even zones, but this all has to go with the Pelicans that did turn out just quite right. Graham with the three, and also CJ McCollum. It looks like CJ is like a great communicator to pick him up. And we are ready to finalize the last quarter left as you're all glad to make us back here for the NBA playoffs of the Western Conference in the third game. Now Booker will dish off to Payne with the lead, and he scores. They have the lead up by two, and it's Booker with the assist. Booker got good skills out here, just like he did before, last couple games. But now he might need to be running in to go for another one. And wow, Larry Nance Jr. got a great rollout with the drive. Nice one. Booker against Graham. JaVale McGee hits the screen. Back to McGee. Oh, look out below. Another impossible man that slammed the dunk. It's JaVale McGee. And a great pass here for Devin Booker. It looks like he's got the great skills out here. Nance Jr. against Johnson. Back to Greenbrook. Ingram. Five to shoot for three. Takes the lead! And Ingram has finally made an option and making a one point lead off for the team. Timeout called by Phoenix. They really got great, great stuff here so far. The Pelicans are like on the, on the front end to another. And just like you've seen here before, the Pelicans appear. Oh, the mascot is like just enjoying himself so far. He's flying all over the place, but he's just like. Awesome. And for one thing to talk about in mind, right, right for a moment, the players that we have a higher ranking in the position here, we've seen that the new college players are getting to be drafted in the NBA from the from a, from college of universities. In between, after finishing with the March Madness, they might be ready to show things off if they wanted to get back in there. Well, those college players can be definitely be ready for anything. But the NBA draft lottery will be happening here just a couple of months before we head over into uh, next, uh, the next month of May to June. It may be very tough on them, but we have a mind to keep your eyes to. Some new changes here for the Pelicans and for the Suns. 
as Carter is checked back in, along with McGee checking out. And a new changeup is Aiton and Paul. 341 to play here in the fourth quarter. 39-38. A tough game is being released. Aiden with the screen. Ball. Trying to go bounce pass to Booker. Three to shoot. Booker for the lead. And he goes in. Booker is receiving another two pointage. And the average is, is in between the lining of the Suns and Pelicans. Ooh, man. Check out that play. They already have gotten numbers. CJ McCollum unable to make the layup drive into a finish. Booker on Paul. Three minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. And Paul finishes a drive. And it goes back the other way. This all turned out to be like him. But without anything in mind, it really does stand to shot. McCollum with a two. And another miss by the Pelicans. They've already got nothing else to, to go back into the uh, position on offense. They're really at trying to try to stop the ball. Ball and in, and he goes in. The dunk is driving in, and the foul is nothing. No foul is called here on Valanciunas. And it's now 44-39. That play was just like unstoppable. Those guys from the Suns really got higher ranking. In the first seed, they're trying to clinch it even more. Now he just off the Ingram. Five to shoot. Jones against Bridges in the paint and it's run short. Aiton has it all covered up here for another rebound. Bridges on Crowder. Oh, he denied it. Hayes got a ball and get off of here. Ingram finishes a drive. It's now a three. Three point trail for Ingram and the team. Booker on Ingram. Pass to Paul. Back to Booker. Screen are picking up even more timing. And Crowder scores inside the paint. Booker receiving another assist, and they are keeping it going again. The Suns are definitely on hot streak right now. No questions are being being controlled by the team that they have. And an offensive foul releases on CJ McCollum. And now changes over to Phoenix Ball. Yeah, good easy call. What a game this did, did turn out. As there all that being said that CJ McCollum was already pushed. You can't let the man get right, right into a pull-off chain to try to work it around. Bridges on Murphy. Ball for three. Rebounded again, and it's on Pelicans with the ball. Fifth number missed three pointer for the Suns. Now here's McCullough. Ingram. Jones outside. Covered by McCall Bridges. CJ McCullough against Paul. Six to shoot. For three. Unable to make one, but he had it all back. Receiving another two and an excellent rebound before he makes a shot at Benkening. I know this was going to be happening a lot of pressure out there. They know they had a lot of uh, stoppage. They've done a really nice job. Booker. Nobody around him, and this is going to be another changing bad luck on an offensive breakdown for Pelicans. Timeout called by the New Orleans Pelicans with 32 seconds. I like this play of average out there to be from. This all really this thing out the shot. They are all, all bounded up. They've done a great job out there. They are, wow. An unbelievable play that they did here before, but they ever had. Not without the Clippers or anybody else, but this is all that changed right from the other way. And if you're sticking around for the next game, we will have the next competition off in between the third and sixth seed as the Warriors will play against the, the Nuggets at Denver and Ball Arena after the game of Raptors and the Celtics here at Scotia Bank Arena at the Eastern Conference playoffs. Now we have a lot of more to get things right into position. Now it's time for New Balance Player of the Game. We start things off, 
to start from here. This goes up to one of our toughest call player. It was Chris Paul the second time. Always know that CP3 has really gotten a great work opportunity. Now he has the eyes all known. We're going to probably keep him for his timing on his ability to attack. McCollum against Paul. Taking in the paint. Inside. Two pointer. It's good. CJ McCollum has redeemed himself with another adding point two. And a foul. Ooh, he just almost got a steal. But almost gotten picked away. Brandon Ingram really had gotten, had gotten tripped up already. But that was easy call. And a foul again on Brandon Ingram. This will be a one on two free throws coming up for Phoenix. Just about 20 seconds to play in the regulation period. And Devin Booker hits the first free throw. One more chance. If they make it through, then the Suns are going to have to lead the series of three. And there you go. The last timeout is called by the Pelicans. They will talk things over and we'll be back on the court. No timeouts given up here for Pelicans as there's only two timeouts left for the Phoenix Suns. They all have it all out there just like a boundary, but they have it here in the play. But if you check out the last game of the Jazz and the Dallas Mavericks, it was amazing that they have all the pressure in the, between the attack zones. They are all definitely wound up to be fired. And across to here, they know they have the secret. No timeouts left for the Pelicans as this will now be the last one up to try to make the attack and go back the other way. Jones finds Ingram. He goes right to McCollum. Going up in between the attack. Ingram for three. In and out. Missed again. And that will do for the, for the end of the streak run here. That puts up a disappointment, and the streak keeps going for Phoenix Suns to advance to the second round. Looks like Devin Booker and the teammates have gotten a great position out there. They know they definitely did have it all. And now the, the Pelicans fans are, are definitely taking silence, and that being said, it could be the end for the run. Booker hits the first free throw, and one more left. And he makes a second free throw. That will do it. Your final score for tonight is putting up a very tough play. Three pointer, no good. That will do it. 52 to 45 is your final score. The Suns extend the lead series 3 0. Their last game could be here, or if the Pelicans win, it will be game five back at Phoenix, Arizona, if necessary. Those teammates can definitely just be honest with their opinions. There's no option to make the crash site even more visible, but they have. So, only two games left. We have is the Boston Celtics and the Raptors playing at Scotty of Angaria, and the Sup and the Nuggets against the Warriors. Here playing at Ball Arena. Now, it's time to present the three star players of the game. Let's take it from here. Me, Son of Beast, you start us off. Oh, thank you very much right now, Demi Phone. As for number three, we have it all on eyes deck for 12 points of CJ McCollum. Always got in the block, and with all as four assists here, he didn't have any chance to take the rebounds here at this point. He's doing great, but this time could be the end of his night if the team loses again in the fourth game or not. Let's take it to game uh, number two. Me Phone? 
Thank you very much. Now, for number two, we all have it on board. This all turns out to be just like that. Chris Paul receiving seven points, one rebounds, and three assists. That was the New Balance, New Balance player of the game in the third game. Well, a relief man. And number one, Son of Beast, back to you again. This all really does change to any other player. And we give it all to Devin Booker. An amazing performance run that's 27. One dunk, 19 points, one rebound, and just four assists. I can't believe that uh, Devin Booker is like keeping it going for the range of outside and inside. We all have eyes on deck for him, but this will be happening here for the fourth game if their team shuts out, shuts them down on the Pelicans and, and make them move to advance to the second round to face against the winning team. There might be an option out there, but well, you may never know if there's any chance to make him, bring him back into alignment. So that does it here for today. We will stick around over the last two games of Game 3 um, in this series of a matchup. Me and Meat Phone and Son of Beast are gone. And this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs of NBA 2K22. You can check out other games that we did commentate. And the calling card is right there if you have missed one with a best scene of the Jazz and the Mavericks. They're up there on the right. You can go check it out here now. Or you can subscribe to his channel to check him out these videos. If you don't, somebody will. Thank you for watching, and for until next time, peace out everyone. For as well as the NBA playoffs and of the NBA 2K22 dial. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you all for our last two games of Game 3 to Game 4 for the next one in the between the matchups. Thanks for joining us. Good night, folks. Yeah.